Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Here's the problem we're going to be going over today. We're just going to estimate the area under the graph of f of x equals 1 over x, from x equals 1 to x equals 2, using four approximating rectangles and right endpoints. So basically what we're doing here is estimating the area under a, a, a function or a graph using the right endpoint estima estimation method. So the first thing we should do, you know, since we know we're using right endpoints, let's just kind of jot, start with the formula, jot down the formula for uh, the right endpoint method. So basically the right endpoint rule just says that, you know, the integral from A to B of some function can be rewritten as this sum here, where we basically have uh, you know, the sum from i equals 1 to n of f of xi, x sub i times delta x, where delta x is basically just the distance you're stepping, which can be figured out by using b minus a all divided by n. And then our x sub i is just going to be basically the, you know, the, the endpoints, the right endpoints of each of these intervals. So it's just going to be, can also be figured out using, you know, a and delta x that we just figured out here. So just kind of plugging stuff into this formula, basically what we're trying to do, we're trying to estimate the area under the graph, which is basically just saying estimate the integral because the integral just represents the area under the graph of f of x, which is one over x from x equals one to x equals two. So basically that's gonna tell us that we have, what we're trying to estimate here is the integral from x equals one to x equals two the function that we're trying to you know figure out the area under is one over x with respect to x so basically this is the integral that we're trying to estimate here using this right endpoint rule so what we need to figure out then is what our delta x and what our x sub i is going to be first of all let's figure out what our delta x is delta x is just going to be b minus a over n which is going to be two minus one which is one over n, which is the number of rectangles that we're trying to use. So they told us in the problem we're using four approximating rectangles. So our n is going to be four. So delta x is just going to be one over four. Then what we basically need to do is figure out what all of our x sub i values are going to be. We know there's going to be four of them because we have four approximating rectangles. So we know that this integral can be approximated using the sum from i equals 1 to 4, because we have four rectangles, of taking you know, each of these xi values and plugging them into uh, our function f, which is basically the same as saying f of a plus i times delta x. And then we need to multiply this by delta x, which is just going to be 1 fourth. So actually, let's say i times 1 fourth here, and then multiply the whole thing by 1 fourth. And then we also actually know our a value as well is going to be 1. So we can put that in here also. So this is basically the, the sigma notation sum that is going to give us our, our right endpoint method approximation of this integral here. Well, let's figure out what this sum would break down into. So essentially what this notation means is we're going to take the sum, we're going to basically plug i equals 1 into this equation, and then we're going to plug i equals 2 into this equation, then i equals 3, then i equals 4, which is where we're going to stop. And whatever we get the result of those four things, we're going to add them all up. So let's figure out for i equals 1, what would we get here? Well, we would just put a 1 in for i here. So we would get f of 1 plus 1 fourth, which is just going to give us f of 5 fourths. So if we plug 5 fourths into our function f, 1 over x, we're going to get 1 over 5 fourths, which dividing by something is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So this is the same as 1 times 4 fifths which is just 4 fifths. So f of 5 fourths is 4 fifths. And then we're going to multiply that by 1 fourth. So then multiplying 4 over 5 times 1 over 4, the 4s are going to cancel and we're just going to get 1 fifth. Okay, so when we plug in i equals 1 into this equation, we just get 1 fifth. So that's our first term. We'll just kind of keep a list of all of our terms over here. We're going to get 1 fifth 
as our first term. So then when i equals 2, we need to figure out, you know, putting i equals 2 in here, we're going to get 1 plus 2 times 1 fourth, which is the same as 1 half. So 1 plus 1 half is going to be 3 halves. So we're going to need to figure out f of 3 halves, which is just going to be 1 over 3 halves, which is the same as 2 thirds. So then we're going to need to multiply 2 thirds times 1 fourth. So 2 thirds times 1 fourth. The 2 will cancel with the 4 and turn it into a 2. So we're just going to get 1 over 3 times 2 is 6. So that's our next term is 1 6. So we're going to get 1 fifth plus 1 6. Then we need to go back over here and plug in i equals 3. So we're going to get 3 times a fourth is 3 fourths. 1 plus 3 fourths is 7 fourths. So we're going to get f of 7 fourths which going back up to our function, one over seven fourths is the same as four sevenths. And then don't forget, we need to multiply that by one fourth again. So we're gonna get four over seven times one over four. The fours are gonna cancel and we're just gonna get one over seven. So when I equals three, we're gonna get our next term of one over seven. Now we need to go back up here and plug in i equals 4. 4 times 1 fourth is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So f of 2 is just going to give us 1 over 2. So then we're going to get, you know, f of 2 is 1 half. Then we need to make sure to multiply that by 1 fourth. So we're going to get 1 half times 1 fourth, which is 1 eighth. So our final term when i equals 4 is going to be 1 over 8. So basically what we need to do is just add up 1 fifth plus 1 sixth plus 1 seventh plus 1 eighth, which will give us, just plugging this into a calculator or Wolfram Alpha, will give us 533 over 840, which is about 0.6345. So this is our approximation of this integral using the right endpoint method. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel. Those are great ways to help support the channel so I can keep making more videos like this. Thank you and see you next time.